This old guy DIY video has to do with calling in reinforcements to dig out a low spot. So the lady that lives here asked me to try to dig what we think will be a detention pond as this is kind of a high spot so there's no spring to hit that we're aware of but when the water comes running off the hills back behind the low spot at least it'll hold water for a little while then we suspect it'll just dry up in the summertime but anyway I tried it with a 3,000 pound Kubota got stuck lasted one hour didn't make a lot of progress so today we picked up a 580L from the local rental place we replaced a 3,000 pound Kubota with this 13,000 pound beast and I expect most of the work to be done with the backhoe I've never run one of these things before, so I got the three minute tutorial at the rental yard. I'm going to get up here and do my thing shortly. So basically, looking at the controls, these two over here are for the outriggers. Uh, these have to do with the boom and the bucket, and then the foot pedals are what actually cause this thing to articulate left and right so you can dispose of whatever it is that you just picked up. So this is the beast, we'll give her a try. This is what the hole looks like after two hours of backhoeing. So in the deepest spot, it's probably eight feet deep. And this thing is probably 50 by 30 right now. So I'd say the backhoe can do about four times as much per hour as the Kubota and I were doing. So I have some of these big piles of dirt. I had to stop with the backhoe because I got a bunch of mud packed in the bucket. Went up and got a shovel. So now I'll level some of this dirt off and then continue digging. So we'll see. I have eight hours to burn on the meter. And we're two and a half hours in, including transport time. the day after and I'm surveying the hole and I misunderstood when she talked initially she told me she wanted a burn pit out here so she now has a burn pit in this part of the field and the thing is about 50 feet wide by 40 feet long the deepest spot is about eight feet I'd call it three feet on average so yesterday in about seven hours of seat time I took out about 222 yards of assorted dirt, muck, and clay. So the 580L, in my opinion, was certainly worth the investment. That thing has a lot of power, but the, the tires on the unit that I rented were pretty, pretty uh, bald. So pushing with the bucket wasn't very successful. But when you set the outriggers down and start scooping with that backhoe, you can make a big hole in a little time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe and have a great day.